We are on to our first assignment after the color harmony lesson. And this is assignment eight, I believe. This is analogous color harmony. And what we're looking for, for this relatively calm and mood scheme, if you remember, are three colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel. So I could go something like yellow, yellow, green, and green or blue, blue, violet, and violet. And I'll think I'll go for red, red, orange, and orange. And we'll go, we'll go red, orange, orange, and yellow, orange. So I'm pretty close with some of my tubes of paint, as you guys saw from our first assignment and several other assignments. And I'm going to mix up my orange first. So I'll do, maybe I'll do red, orange, orange, and yellow, orange, as I mentioned. You know, this deep yellow is pretty much very close to yellow orange already and then just a little bit of that same orange into the yellow to get my yellow orange so i've got my fr three colors selected and I'll make quite a bit of each. Now, if I want, I can experiment a little bit. So I mentioned in the Color Harmony lecture that the further these spread apart, the more active the scheme becomes. So if you just wanna keep them in a tight grouping, that's fine. If you wanna experiment a little bit, you kind of push the boundaries of each of the side colors. So I could have red, orange, just border on red and yellow, orange, just border on yellow, keeping the orange as the primary member of the group. If you wanna do that kind of experimenting, you can, and we'll see an interesting effect, but you wanna keep the distance on either side equal. The other thing that you can do with this is tint, tone, and shade one or either or both or all three of the colors and that will still maintain the harmony. So I might have the red, orange, orange and yellow, orange and then decide that I'm going to shade the yellow, orange just a little bit. And you probably know that it doesn't take much black or darker colors to change one of our colors. The thing you want to watch for with yellows and oranges because of the pigments used. Yellows and oranges, if you add too much black, they go towards green. So just watch out for that. You don't want to tint tone or shade too far. I guess tinting is quite safe. So I could take that yellow orange and shade it and it still works as a harmony with the other two in an analogous scheme. Maybe I take the orange and tint it. You get a peachy color here. And maybe I decide I'll leave my red orange as it is. So then I get these three colors in an interesting combination. And that might be something you wanna explore as well, because this really changes the mood and the timbre of an analogous scheme. So what you're to do with this then is to make a camouflage. And let me find a good example of a camouflage, something like this. So you can see the three colors are used. This has been divided into geometric shapes and nowhere do 
this does the same color meet itself except for at a point. That's fine. We just don't want this one and this one right next to each other. Otherwise it makes one giant shape and that'll stick out. And that's not what we want from camouflage, right? Now on this assignment, it's optional for you to not use tape and not be hard edge. In that case, you could go in a more painterly direction, something like this. And what I want you to do if you go this route is still to keep the surface and design and painting unified. So it all looks like it came from the same artist. So if I'm making this sort of brushstroke shapes, then I need to consistently make those same shapes. Otherwise, areas will pop out and it won't be very camouflagey, right? So the other thing that you could do is not even use board. You can use something else. So this is done on wood and that's very cool. So any route you take, this one's very cool, lots of tinting happening here. Any route you want to take is cool. I want you to be creative with this, but I still want presentation to be good and the unity of the painting still intact. Be sure to write in the discussions or email me if you have any questions.